So guys, for the first step, you want to make sure your computer has been turned off. Now once it's turned off, we're now going to turn it on. So click on the power button to turn it on. And now as it's turning on, we're now going to spam F1 on our keyboard. Keep on pressing on the F1 key on our keyboard. Don't stop pressing it. And now if you would have kept on pressing F1, it would have now taken us into the BIOS. You may be getting some text, you just want to click on enter, which will now take you to my screen. And now once we're here, now we're going to go to the security tab by using the right arrow key on our keyboard. So you want to go to the security tab. And now once we're on this, we want to use the down arrow key to take us to secure boot. Here it is. Now you want to click on enter. Now we're going to be here. Now you want to disable secure boot. So where it says secure boot, you want to click on enter. And then you want to use the up arrow key to make it disabled. Click on enter again. It's now been disabled. And now once you've done that, now we're going to click on escape on our keyboard to get out of this. Now we want to go to the startup tab. So we're going to be using the right arrow key to go startup tab. Now once we're here, we're going to scroll down. We're going to go down till we get to UEFI legacy boot. You want to click on enter on this. Now you want to go up and then select both. Click on enter. Now you should be having UEFI legacy boot on the both option. And now you want to click on F10 on your keyboard, which is now going to take us back to Windows and then the problem should be fixed. So we're going to click on F10 on our keyboard and then click on enter. Wait for this to load. It's now going to take us back to Windows and then the problem should be fixed.